Okay, live. Thank goodness. Just had a hiccup. Good evening, you big, fat, beautiful bastards. Let's take a look at tonight's deck. It's wonderful to see you all. It's wonderful for you to see me, of course. It's nice to see you. How are we doing? I hope everyone is well. We're going to take a look at the Plain Jane Dinosaurs that we're uh, doing tonight. I'm going to attempt once again to do a brief introduction. I tried last time, but alas, I'm a creature of habit and I immediately did a regular length introduction. So I'm just going to briefly mouse over these things, maybe explain a little bit, probably not. This just for consistency there. This, the Hexproof Indestructible, absolutely great. Comes in clutch so much. I love running three. Off to a good start. Four of these guys because it enables me to hit the Enrages on Raging Raptor and Ripjaw Raptor the moment they get into play. This Otepic here, cast reduction in addition to Marauding Raptor, casting cost reduction, and it gives stuff haste. This guy for the graveyard hate against, let's see, you know, Grease Fang, Croaks of Cauldron Familiar, and Rally the Ancestors. But then again, you know, Dreadhorde Arcanist too, I suppose. Um, Ranging Raptors, wait, it, if I have a Marauding Raptor in play, um, when this comes into play, I get a land card straight off the bat when Marauding Raptor deals two damage. Great to have um, Ramp in here. I love Domri. He gets even more juice out of my enraged creatures there. Pretty good against control if I can resolve him. Nice to have the extra power on the field. Love the fighting. Love the utility out of this guy. Forerunner of the Empire comes into play and searches up any dinosaur. Goes into our hand. not um, Or excuse me, doesn't go into our hand. Goes on top of the library. So, you know, a little annoying because it can still get shuffled away if the opponent, you know, has us do that. But he gets us more juice out of our Enragers that are already on the field. Because if I don't have him once the Enragers are already on the field, I'm not, you know, I'm not guaranteed to get any more mileage out of them unless, you know, they get blocked or make a block, whatever. But yeah, this guy helps by dealing one damage to each creature. Great against Scoot Swarm too. You know, it'll kill Paradise Druids. It'll kill all sorts of things. Rip Draw Raptor when he's dealt damage. Draw a card. Pretty good blocker. Um, Yeah. Shifting Ceratops, running four of them. Because if we face blue spirits, drawing this guy is probably going to make the difference between a win and a loss. If, if we draw him, it is a real pain in the butt skis for those people. And I mean, he can give himself reach, trample, and haste. And all of those are useful. Um, three Regisaur Alphas. It's nice that he puts two permanents on the field instead of one against, you know, removal heavy decks. And he gives all dinosaurs haste. That's good because um, a tally here who I'm bringing in tonight because, I mean, he's fun. He's freaking fun. And, you know, he... He doesn't have haste. He doesn't even freaking have trample, you know, but he also has a target on his back when he comes in because our opponent, you know, they don't know what he's going to cast and, it, you know, it could be good. So, yeah, giving him haste is probably going to make the difference between actually activating his ability or not. Carnage Tyrant running two. Can't be countered. Trample Hexproof. Another thing in addition to shifting Ceratops to help us out against blue and countering in general. Um, this one's even better against, um, you know, blue-white control who has a lot of white exile spells and um, I guess Simic Flash as well. Let's see. Great Henge is great, you know, whenever creatures enter the battlefield, plus one, plus one counter and draw a card. Real nice. Also adds two extra force and gain two life. Not bad. Finally, Galta, the queen, costs 12 minus X, where X is the total power of creatures we control. So she's oftentimes very easy to hard cast and trample. And with three Otepics and three Regisaur Alphas, hopefully we'll get her haste. I did a, all right. I did a quick job that time. I like it. All right. Let's hop on into the games. Let me make sure I got the right deck here. Boom. Explorer ranked. Yep, that's the one I want. Move my text box back into a position so I can see when people talk. Okay. Ready to go. Thank you for joining me. Be you a live viewer or watching this as a recorded video. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Pleasure to have you.
Oh, right, I forgot to change the default land on this one. Ugh, whatever. Um, it, eh, not terrible. Nice sleeves there. Cool effect. Okay. So, I don't know. Shifting Ceratops or ranging? I think Shifting Ceratops might be blown up if it um comes into play now, and I'd like to maybe cast it, then give it haste. So how about ranging raptors? Grab a forest. Okay, the ping connects. I like it. Grab a forest. Swing for four. Okay, Tainted Indulgence. They discarded another Tainted Indulgence. Very well. They must have plenty of draw spells in their hand, or roughly what they want for the win. Ledger Shredder. Well, that is pure blue, so shifting with protection from blue will not be able to be blocked by that. Well, there's the Thought Seize. They have a tough choice, though. Shifting is good. Carnage Tyrant's good. They might just get rid of Shifting. Yeah, fair enough. Um, let's see, that's a 2-4? Yeah, I'll definitely swing with a uh, Ranging then. I guess that could, they could just... Oh, wow, really? Yeah, I was going to say, I probably should have just played Carnage Tyrant. I usually like just playing him so that they can't wipe, but... Uh, yeah, I should have played him main phase one. Right, so that Marauding Raptor would be uh, would have that damage taken. They'd be at eight right now. It's a nice War of the Spark Island there. Go blank. I discard two cards. That is three of their mana. They have a blue open. Will they drop another mana? No, the Carnage Tyrant does it. Yeah. Bow to the Carnage Tyrant. Is Carnage Tyrant the king? Is there a... Is there a I know that would be the king because he's a tyrant, right? That indicative of some type of ruler. Or some type of asshole. Uh... Yeah, we can go for it. See how it goes. I like the little sound effect. Oh, I think there's different ones? Yeah, they sound a little different. That's pretty cool. All right, didn't know that. Red and green there. Okay.
Oh man, you're looking at my Otepic. You're gonna blow him up, man. Fair enough. Okay, that's their whole turn. This so that if he lives next turn, we can go um, marauding into ranging. Rule Spellbreaker. That's a 3-3, three, three. he will do 3, okay. Well, I will get that uh, little play there. Kind of nice. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. Grab a forest. Okay, definitely blocking with this guy. I have anything interesting? Cameos, okay, very well. Domri lives. Get another land. Yeah, they better have killed him because that was going to be uh, Regisaur Alpha into uh, into Galta. Uh, okay. I'm thinking Regisaur Alpha give things haste. Make Galta cost two here. Swing for six. Pretty good play overall. Or excuse me, nine. Damn. Sold myself short. Bone Crusher, yep, that's Galta. That's it. See how fast they can resign. Should be pretty quick, right? Um, that. Beautiful. Good game. Oh, like your spirit. You're actually going to block? Might as well. Hell yeah. Good stuff. Good game, sir. Good spirit. I like that. Queen Galta. Alright. So I guess that means we're going to be playing a lot of blue spirits really soon. That's two wins in a row. <laughs> nah, I know the auto shuffler ain't going to let me get away with that. The matchmaking system, the auto shuffler. All right, do your worst. Good start to the stream, though. I like that. Eh, I go first. I'm going first a lot. Got some interesting sleeves here. Oh, those are the ones that were just in the store. Okay, that's cool. Take a look at them. Closer look. That's pretty nice. I like that. Was I like the Arcanist, the Omnipotent one? Okay, uh, yeah, that's it. You're up, buddy. Nice. Cool, man. All right, here come the treasure tokens. It's green there, Jund. Oh, that's good. Very good. Yep, no block there. Very good. Very good. Hmm. I say we don't block with it. Or don't attack, excuse me. 
Because then they just block with this thing, create the treasure token, and make something big. That wasn't it. That was not it. I think we're going to lose here. So I can't really give Galt a haste fast enough. Eight damage, ten damage, damn. Yeah, I think that's it. Not sure what I can do here. Yep, good game. That should be it. Fortunately, no Otepics or Maraudings there. Yeah, that's it. Good game. Damn, very good there. Very good. Yo, what's up, Kyle? How you doing, man? Good evening. Let's see. Just got here. Is this your high rank dino? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose this is this is definitely more of a, you know, straightforward. Um it's got it's got the four shifting ceratops to deal with the me with the meta. Um it's not too good against the graveyard stuff like Grease Fang cuz Death Gourd Scavenger isn't terribly good against that. But yeah. I would say overall this and maybe Jun dinos are probably the best ones. Yeah, you know, man, it's the end of the month, so I got to try to get to diamond rank so that I can give five packs for my time during this month instead of four. Uh, I guess I'll drop Tamios here. Kind of stinks. Um, all right, we'll start with this. But I, um, for today, I have a tally in here, a tally primal storm. He's, um... I, I guess a little gimmicky, so maybe it's not the highest rank, but you know, it's, it keeps it a little interesting to have him in there. Burning tree, okay. Two mana. Okay, and then Ember Cleave is just gonna absolutely ruin my life. And good, good stuff. Um, Rootbound Crag there. I think it's Ranging Raptors. So at least that can't just be Bone Crusher Gianted right out of here. They got Ember Cleave mana. That costs uh, four and two mountains minus X, where X is the number of attacking creatures, so they could totally cast it. Yeah, they definitely have a damage spell in their hand if they're even considering attacks. Okay, well, in that case, perhaps not. Um, let's see, does this token get destroyed? Yeah, exile that token at end of combat. Um, um, so Forerunner of the Empire is a little weaker of a, uh, of a play here. I think I'll go with the Ripjaw Raptor past the turn. No attack. I mean, if they didn't kill ranging there and they didn't attack. Rampaging Ferocidon. I need two more, or is it three more of those, I think? Whatever, for uh, my sideboard, and then I'll start playing a best of threes. Okay, let's see. Domri Anarcha Bolas. I won't be able to play ranging after him, so this comes into play tapped. Um, that's Forerunner of the Empire. We'll get a 
Regisaur Alpha, so that way Re um, Forerunner will deal two damage to everything, and that'll be pretty bad for them. Yes. Um, I think Regisaur might be good. Regisaur or Carnage Tyrant? Um, I think Regisaur. I think it would hurt them really bad. No attack. A little bit of a stalemate here. I'm A-OK -okay with that. See how about on that one? Do I do it on that one? Um, because they have let's see, one, three, five. Um, okay, I'm not gonna block that. Um, so I'll do that on this one. Do you on? How about you? You can block a. Oh, that has menace then I don't know if I want you to block. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm, I'm really feeling the Ember Cleave here. Bone Crusher, okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna decline it. I don't wanna shuffle away my, uh, my Regisaur. Okay, they'll probably grab a land. That's very good. Very good. That's unfortunate, but oh, it was two lands. Okay, it was two lands. Do I do Domri Anarcha Bolas and fight that? Or do I go Regisaur Alpha and blow their stuff up? It might be the Regisaur Alpha blow their stuff up. It also gets me a bunch of cards. I'll lose two life. Tamio's actually pretty nice there. Not gonna lie. Um, I think we'll play this... With the uh, two life, just to keep Tamios open past turn. Okay. No haste. That's that's good. Oh wow. Okay. Well, that is going to be fighting the uh, Rampaging Ferocidon with the Ripjaw Raptor. That's a Menacer gone. That's the guy who's dealing me damage when a creature comes into play. Also gone. Liking that a whole lot. Um, that'll be you for... Let me see. Yeah, that's... Still Tamios up, that's really good. Yep. God, I love Forerunner, man. The extra juice that you get out of him, oh, it's actually really nice. Um, and we will not attack because the life is precious and I don't know what kind of stuff they're going to pull. You never know if we're just going to have to overblock them. Just in case Ember Cleave. I know they're missing that card really bad. Okay. Pretty annoying. This thing taps to deal me damage, right? But they can't do it yet. Um, alright. We 
won't answer to other guilds. I think we go, um... We have to be very careful because this thing's going to deal us one damage or the Rampaging for us on whenever a creature comes into play. But I think I need to do this. BRB, yeah, see you, bro. Oh, wow. Galta. That might just be it. That might just be it. Wow. Um, let me see. Yep. That's big damage. That is big damage. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, the cards from Ripjaw got the exact thing I needed, man. Galta. What what a what a beautiful what a beautiful lady. Yeah, sure. Nope, Soul Scar Mage. Oh, what fun. Yep, and they've got two mana open to blast whatever I put down, but since I didn't get a land, I'll just do that. Go ahead, buddy. Very well. At least it took two mana instead of one. All right. Oh, and two damage to the controller. Okay, good deal. Good deal. Damn. Yeah, that's good. This one's going to be over with that cemetery gatekeeper dealing me two damage like that. Yeah, that's really good. Looks like we'll stave off some damage for this turn, though, so that's positive. Uh, that's not the best. That's not the best. Um, might have to do Forerunner of the Empire here. Yeah, that's really not the best. Gotta get something that we can actually afford to play. I think it might actually be a Marauding Raptor. Uh, no attack. Marauding Raptor said if they don't blow me out of the water, and it looks like they will, either I replace my Marauding Raptor, or I can possibly cast that Marauding into a Ranging. Or a Ripjaw. Get two pings on everything out of Forerunner of the Empire. 
guy's mana screwed, but, you know, I mean, he did choose to keep that hand. I'm mana screwed, too. He's better suited to uh, survive with his mana screw. Okay, he did not attack there. Um, so I can kill the Cemetery Gatekeeper, which is pretty all right. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I think I'll just do Marauding you. Um, no attack there. The frame rate's looking good on my screen. I hope it's coming coming through nice for my viewers at home. Um, ooh, okay. Well, he did not... Okay, I think we're going to go Ranging Raptors, and it's going to blow up, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do, because we need the manas here. That's two mana. That's pretty darn good for next turn. I think I'll definitely swing for this one. Um, yeah, I think I'll swing with just that. Highly doubt that's being double blocked. Maybe single. Okay. Very well. I mean, yes. I feel like he's just going to get two damage dealt to him. But, I mean, my life is so precious here against Red. So, yeah, we just staved off a bunch of damage, actually. Not the worst thing in the world. Holy crap. Crap, this guy is mana screwed. I also think he doesn't realize that by dealing my damage, like the, his direct damage to my enragers, that it actually will not trigger the enrage abilities. I don't think this person realizes that. I think we're going to go the Great Henge that we start gaining life. And we can also tap it for Tamios. We're going to pass the turn. So we can gain a total of four life by doing uh, tapping it for Tamios. Goblin Chain Whirler. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, that's gonna do it. Tap that for the two life. Now it's my turn. Yeah! Okay. Um, I'd say that's a Ripjaw Raptor. Hopefully we get something nice. Eh, not the nicest. I think I'm going to hold open Tamios. Why don't we uh, pass the turn? Ye yeah, pass turn. Very well. Okay. I kind of assume they're not going to attack. I don't know why they would. Yeah, okay. Very good, very good. Um, that'll... Maybe Death Gorge Scavenger, because it can start removing creature cards from graveyards and gaining me life. I think the creatures are mostly in my graveyard. Yeah, I think we'll start with Rip Death Gorge Scavenger. Start removing creatures from graveyard. So we'll go to my graveyard, right? They oh, well, I'll remove theirs first. Okay, fine. Two life, that is terrible for the red deck. This Domri right here is absolutely destructive for them. That is going to go right on the uh, 
Bone Crusher Giant. I think it's going to get minus one, minus one counters, actually. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I should have done that with this one. I fucked up there. Um, that was my bad. I, I just realized that it was going to be non-combat damage. Um, let's see. I will not attack. Yeah, end turn. Definitely screwed that one up a little bit. Definitely should have went with that Ripjaw. Or even the Death Gorge, to be honest. Uh, wow, the fourth Soul Scar Mage. Oh my goodness. Both of us are mana screwed. It's just I happened to get that good thing with the Ranging Raptor, so I actually got to take out lands. But I guess I should have said none of us are drawing lands. Holy crap. I don't think he likes Domery, but yeah. Welcome back, Kyle. What's up? I think there's a delay in between when I see your uh, chat, probably about a minute, 40 seconds, or 40 seconds, something like that. So just letting you know. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll block um, this guy with him. I'm sure they're going to have a combat trick to do something about that. Um, this to that. Yes. This to that. I, are they going to, like, resign here? Yeah, that was a pretty obvious combat trick there. Oh, the safekeeping. Give me my card. And now your thing dies. That must be frustrating. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we're going to start putting a lot of stuff on the field. Poor guy. Has to watch this happen. Great henge. Oh, that's so good. Kyle, um, the last game ended pretty well. Um, I don't want to spoil it for you in case you want to go back and watch it, but it was actually a pretty decent ending. I, uh, it, it, it was nice. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of that for the uh, two life. Om nom 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 nom. Um, yeah, we're going to start attacking, and it's going to be with that bad boy there. We will get rid of the bone crusher. You want to gain as much life as we can. He can't kill it anyway. Very good. He's got three cards in hand. I have plenty of things to draw me cards. It was, it was a pretty alright ending. I, I was happy with it. Oh, there he goes. Okay, yeah, man. All right. Come on. The, where's the Where's the auto shuffler screwing me over and the matchmaking putting me against Grease Fang? Oh, I have to click here. Okay, fair enough. Wow. Wow, dude. Your name is Ultra Butt Chug. Wow, dude. All right. Okay. I'll go first because of the commune. That's pretty nice. And yes, sir. W. Yes. Commune will grab the marauding. Definitely. I hope I'm not asking for too much, you know, but the, the mountain to cast that marauding would be incredible. Yeah, because Rockfall Veil vale comes into play tapped very well. Can't have it all. Oh, he's Simic. Are you going to pass the turn? Yeah. All right, well... I guess everything just gets countered. You you know how it is. Everything gets countered until you get down to like three, two, one card apiece. And then it's whenever they get Night Pack Ambusher. Ooh, I think this one was just in the store yesterday. I didn't log in yesterday. You know, like sometimes I need a break from the game, you know, because as a, as a streamer that plays like this game, you know, like... 
I haven't even played anything else for a while. And speaking of that, I was thinking of uh, on my on my channel, I was thinking of playing another game. Um, I noticed in my analytics that um, uh, a frequent search term that my viewers use is um, League of Legends, and I, I, I was honestly. You know, I'm okay with that because I understand that that's a hugely popular game, but I actually play Dota. So um, I was considering uh, playing Dota because I also noticed that some people play that. And that, that made me happy. So I might play Dota. I was actually um, looking through what's going on in Dota. I'm starting to refamiliarize myself with it because it's been a while. So if anyone plays Dota, you know, if you're interested, like, I, I might play some of that at some point. Uh, just, just saying, and then obviously the the people who don't care, you know, who who then, you know, fuck it. Yeah, today's sleeve. Oh, the world tree. Yeah, I I should. Yeah, um, the world tree. Today's sleeve. Um, for what? Um, August twenty eighth, I believe. Sunday, August twenty eighth. Um, is really really nice. Um, yeah, the world tree. So if you're interested in that, it costs fifteen hundred gold. It's beautiful. We can swing with Marauding Raptor because if they flash, um, I mean, they could play Collected Company or Nightpack Ambusher here. I'm guessing since they passed the turn, it's Shark Typhoon for X equals one. Okay, good chump lock. Very good. Yeah, good call, Kyle. Thank you. Thank you for uh, mentioning that because then I can shout that out. And I mean, I guess they'll see it on the screen anyway. So thank you for shouting it out. Wow, Supreme Verdict. Okay, well, I will take the opportunity to resolve Domri. Hopefully it resolves. I think it will, right? Because Spell Pierce isn't going to get it. They got a nice three for one trade there with Supreme Verdict. You know, I actually have um for like, you know, a while down the road, um, as you know, so many things are when you're not spending money on the game yet. But I actually have a blue white deck of myself I was putting together only because, you know, back in the day I was opening so many guilds of Ravnica packs. I have like three deputies of detention. I have um I, it's basically um, that card that whenever you cast a multicolored spell, you put like a 1-1 one, one token or a 2-2 two, two token, whatever it is, into play. And so it's like a bunch of multicolored things, which I think is fun. Um, okay, we're going to... With all the stuff that they have out there, I think we'll go Ripjaw. Not a tally, because I can't protect a tally with Tamiya's safekeeping yet. So we'll just do that one. Discontinuate, exa, end the turn. Wow. Okay. Very good. Damn. Well, kind of happy I didn't play a tally. Very good. Very good. Nice hexproof 3-3 three, three there. Pretty cool. Nice. Wouldn't mind a Regisaur Alpha. Carnage Tyrant. Ooh! And speaketh of the devil. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. We will send the token at their Nissa. I doubt they will block with the Lotus Field. Highly doubt that, unless they have something to give it invulnerable. Oh, wow. Um, do I want to do that? I kind of think so, yeah. Talk of peace. Land fights for us. 
Okay, they chose to put a plus the plus one plus one counters on zero target lands. That tells me maybe a board wipe is on its way. Another supreme verdict because it costs five. Oh no, they would have been able to play it. Um, shoot, I don't know. I wonder. Um, I really wonder. Um, I, I'll go with tally. I don't. I don't know if Galta is the right move here. I think I might go a tally. Um. Oh man. I don't know if it's the right move. I hope it is. Um, we'll attack you with a tally and we'll attack that with this. I will not attack with this just in case it's um settled the wreckage. What the hell is this? March of Otherworldly Dreams? Hell yeah. Um this spell oh wait, whatever. Um, target an artifact, creature, enchantment, cancel. Whatever. I, I kind of screwed that up. Okay, whatever. I guess I'm not casting any of them. Sorry for the goofiness. Okay, we got rid of Nyssa. Wow. Damn. Ultra Butt Chug gets a face full of mine, man. I danced on his face. Good game. Okay. Damn. Obviously didn't get his Alrun's Epiphany or whatever he wanted off. Xyla Ho. All right, this is a decent hand. Otepic into Marauding into Ripjaw. Oh, and they're, they're gonna be fast, okay. Jesus. Well, I play Otepic, it just dies. So what else do I do, right? It's a freaking red deck. I might as well have them cast it on Otepic than on my face. Hell yeah, boy. Uh, no blocks. No real point. Rather them cast the burn spell on it, I guess, because they're three damage burn spells. Holy goodness, we're getting uh, we're getting pooped on here. But I can go. Uh, let me just make sure we get this one. I gave you the nice there for your level 69. Um, we'll go with this dude here. Grab a nice card off him right fast. Wow, that's uh, a lot of that. Um, pass the turn because our life is freaking precious. Jesus. We are low as hell on life and two turns out from the Great Henge. That's rough. Wow. They have one card in hand, but they might not need more. Yep, at least they won't attack there. Oh, a Death Gorge would have been really nice there, actually. Um, wow, we are cutting it so close. I obviously I can't play Otepic. Um, I say obviously, but I have played Otepic while I have Marauding Raptor out. Marauding Raptor just eats it. Um, we will attack with the token. Um, yeah, I'll definitely attack with the token. Nothing else, because I don't know if they're going to get another hasty creature out. My life is precious, precious, precious. Three damage to me, that might just be it. Yep. I mean, they have so many three damage spells, so. Yep, good game. Damn. 
right before our great henge. Good game, man. The textbook win for them. Very good. All the damage to the face, and they even finish it off exactly. And they didn't know it, but right before I could start getting a little bit of life. Damn, one Tamiyo safekeeping could have made the difference there. That might have been a situation where Tamiyo safekeeping two life would have would have done it. Uh, uh eh, fine. The, the land situation is less than ideal, but you know, fine. We'll go root bound first. I love that on Rootbound Crag, um, it has the dinosaur on the on the promontory on the cliff there, because like all the other Rootbound Crags that were printed are just like a tree, and it's fine. But it's been like that for like over a decade, and then this is the only instance of Rootbound Crag, at least that I think, that has the dinosaur there. Really happy with that. Like it a lot. Gonna yeah, swing for one whole entire damage past turn. There you go. Okay, not a land, unfortunately. This guy and pass. After this game, I want to take a look at my battle pass level again. Just just to hit the nice. Create a treasure token. Yep, very good. Okay. Um, well, if I'll just block the pest token, I suppose. So that way this thing can't give me minus one and kill me. They can gain the life. Okay, very good. Got the land. That is very good. I think... Do I do a second Otepic Huntmaster? I think that might be a good idea. Wow, really? That thing lets them draw cards. Okay, good. Got two things off of their field at barely any penalty. Only one life for them. That's good. Okay, and that's three of their mana. Oh, wow, we got another one of those. Um, okay, I could do Marauding Raptor. Can I do it into that thing? That's a non-creature to exile, so yes, I can. Okay, yeah. This into this. With Tamiyo's safekeeping up open. So we have to remove the non-creature so he gets plus one plus one. Damn, we're doing little baby dino aggro here. Not bad. Uh yeah, that one. Yes, yes please. Um, let's see, target creature gets minus one, minus one. Yeah, sure, you do that. Hopefully they don't wipe. If they wipe, then that was futile. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that's not the best. We'll keep that in hand, though. Two Marauding Raptors past turn. Damn.
Yep, very good. Damn, four mana, three cards in hand. Beats my one. Well then. Oh, that sucks. Really debating that one. I guess it's a decent debate, though. Oh boy, they got a planeswalker. That's not good. That is no bueno. Wow, okay. Wow, I would love to get that on the field, but actually they could just minus three it at that point. So I can't really just play Carnage Tyrant or he just dies to Professor Onyx. I'm essentially trading Carnage Tyrant for them, for that thing. Which I guess might not be the worst thing in the world. <clears throat> Much rather get a uh, Regisaur Alpha. Domri, holy crap, dude. <laughs> Nothing like a bit yes. Of Was raised by wolves, though they might have also just been big dogs. Okay. Oh well, that's about it. Domri ain't living. Yeah, we'll take a look at the next card. We'll give them a nice, good game. We'll make their day with that flashy GG. Oh man, yeah, two planeswalkers. Yeah, I mean, forget it. What the hell am I gonna draw? Holy I shit. Okay, good game. Yep. Although, that would be such a good situation to get a uh, Anger of the Gods, and I'm not running it right now, but holy goodness, all those things. It, it would leave them with, what, the 1-4 Skullport Merchant? I would be so happy with that. Exiling that 5-2 Flyer with Flash? Damn, that's freaking cool, man. Good game. Good game. They deserve it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Just suddenly, no chance. South Fast is right. We're up against Doesn't Matter. I like that name. Very Gen X. Very meh. They're very whatever, man. I only kept this hand because of the uh, commune with dinosaurs. Hoping for... Whoa! Wow, okay, well, can we look at this? No, I, I won't bother. Alright. Claim my prize. Hop on into the next one. Level 69. Nice. Up against that. Don't know how to pronounce it. I, I like the look of the symbols, though. I don't know where they're from, but I like the look of them. Um, oof, what do I do with that? Turn two out. I, I could try it. it. It depends on the top decks. Right, because Otepic reduces us to four. I could play Domri the turn after. That might be good. Got shifting Ceratops. They're running blue, so that might that might prove to be all right. Okay. Soul Guide Lantern. Before I get uh, all my rares in my uh, in my sideboard, I might put in Soul Guide Lanterns just to be some you know non-rare graveyard hate. There, I'd be okay with that. We'll get Domri out and resolved against a deck showing blue. I'm a okay with that. And I will swing for two.
I'm okay with Domri taking one damage there. He could still fight if he's at three. All right, Paradex Engine. Oh, boy. Well, it's going to be good to kill Llanowar Elves then, because whenever they cast a spell, untap all non-land permanents you control, so we'll only get them one extra mana when they tap a spell. That'll be pretty good. Um, why don't we go with Regisaur Alpha, because that puts um, a bunch of power on the field. Well, we'll swing for nine total. After we tap uh, Otepic there, that's pretty good. The sound of a stampede coming straight at ya. We might have caught them right before they go off. We'll see what kind of crazy shenanigans they get up to. Okay, well, let's see what they've got. Okay, well, you know, grab a book, uh, you know, maybe maybe put up a pot of tea for my uh, for my British viewers. Um, yeah, I figured we would just wait for him to do his thing and then his uh, avatar would explode. Okay, that didn't take too long, not too bad. I, I thought I thought we were in for a uh, for a lengthy uh, soliloquy, if you will, monologue. But good game, good game. I mean, they didn't get their thing, but also, fortunately, we were able to be enough of a threat where, you know, they didn't have that extra turn that they clearly needed. Lock, work, night. Well, this guy has a space in his name, a nice clean space. I don't understand why it doesn't matter it didn't do that, unless if that name was already taken. I think I will mulligan that one. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll take this one. Keep six. I think I have to get rid of the Tamios. Ooh, not the best there. Um, I guess Ripjaw might draw me into more things. That is a stomping ground. Okay, we're going to start with Commune. Marauding. There's my boy.
Hey, please don't kill him. I need him. If you kill him, it cripples me, so please don't do that. Fine. Mana, please. Oh, thank the heavens. I like that one. Please don't kill him either. That one, that's just inconvenient if you do. It's all good, but, you know, not really good. Undead Poopy Butler. Oh, neat. When he dies, you can exile it, and they like to sacrifice things. Damn. The value. The value. That's pretty good. Um, let's see, which one should we kill? Um, I think we'll kill that one. Yeah, I think that's the best idea. Um, do I get rid of anything? No, I'll have to wait until like this is in the graveyard or something, or one of them, and then I can death gorge it. So in the meantime, we'll do Domri. Kill the three power, pass the turn. Right, not this guy. Yeah, because he could just come back. We are the many. Leave Ripjaw untapped. Hopefully he isn't killed. Damn, okay. Paid the life for the fifth mana. What have we? Okay, holy crap. Um, I can do Marauding into Ripjaw, I guess. Bustin' heads is my bread and butter. Um, this thing, um, when it enters the battlefield. Um, yeah, why don't we attack with that? Gotta start doing something. Jesus. Okay. Um. Well, that's blocking that. Um. That is blocking. Let's see. Three, six. Um. Yeah, we'll block this one, I think. I think I'll take the six. I mean, they have no cards in hand, so we'll take the risk there. A little greedy. But I have Death Gorge Scavenger to remove things from their graveyard, gain life. Okay, let's see. Um, definitely gonna have to play Death Gorge, it looks like. Yeah, we won't answer to other guilds. So let's see. Wow. Um, I have six mana total. So I can do Death Gorge Scavenger, remove... We'll remove a non-creature for now. Um, there's nothing with flashback. And then I'll play Regisaur Alpha, he'll get haste, and I can remove a creature and gain two life. Let's see, 5, 10, 
19. Yeah, I think that's going to... Is that game? Um, 5, 10, right? 19, 24, 28. Um, why don't we just remove a um, non-creature? Yeah, that's it. Good game. Damn. Okay. Maybe a little dorky of me to take that long with Death Gorge Scavenger, but sorry, I tunnel visioned on needing to gain the life to survive his um, deal three damage, gain three life spells. Okay. Wow. Good game. Happy dinosaurs hit hard. And yo, Marauding Raptor there. Getting big. Marauding Raptor definitely doing his chunk of the total damage for a two drop. That was a 9-3 little booger boy there. Yes, thank you, Kyle, sir. Good game. We deserve that. That felt good. I will definitely mulligan this one. Oh, man, I want to mulligan that one too, but not bad enough to take five cards. So we'll drop Tamios, unfortunately. Ma Marauding Raptor, Commune with Dinosaurs. Eh, fine. At least they didn't play anything, so... That's honestly a little blessing. Is it Giada? Yeah, fuck you. All right, fair enough. I mean, not really. Great. Um, can't really do much there. I think that's just about it from the get-go, to be honest. Yeah, fuck this guy. Bad game. I hope you face a mirror match next, and it goes for 30 minutes. A punishment befitting of an Angels player. Not that bad, though. It took about a minute there. Get right back into the next one. All right. Um, oh man, I'm going first a lot. What what is going on there? It never seems like it's like you, you know you you always go first a lot in a row and go second a lot in a row. It never seems to alternate. I think are those the uh like the pre-order ones? Are those the pre-order sleeves? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, no, no Tamio. Sorry, I got a space bar through. All right. Thought sees very well. It's not really the greatest hand. I wonder if they're going to get rid of the graveyard hate, because that is Kroxa's colors. You know, Cauldron Familiar. He's looking at Death Gorge. I don't think he likes it. Wow, he got rid of Tamios. Okay, he will be blowing things up then. We're going to play Ranging Raptors. Surprised he took Tamios. Well, I hope he deals it direct damage instead of destroying target creature. <laughs> I 
That's okay. It was very greedy of me to wish that. You call it anarchy for me? Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? Yeah, I like these sleeves. I'm a big fan of purple. I wish the uh, the border of it just animated a little more, but it's it's very very nice. I I really do like it a lot. Gets rid of my rip jaw. Okay. Damn, the poor guy is mana screwed. That is unfortunate. Look at me. I played a mountain. I mean, I might still lose the game, but you know, na 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 poo poo. Um, we'll get rid of a, uh, creature and gain the two life. Or actually, no. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of a Thought Seize. Force him to blow it up now. Bought both pre-order packs. Damn. All right. Well, I mean, if if that's what he wants to do, you know, go for it. Uh, I I usually don't agree with pre-ordering anything just because of like you know modern gaming trademark. Um, go to my graveyard. Um, and how you know you give these developers your uh, your money before you get anything, and then they just give you a uh, an unfinished like crap product that needs you know however x number of months or years, like in the case of the tragedy of Halo Infinite. Oh, he also has the Goblin Pet. That's how you can tell. All right, thank you. Yeah, I I, I wasn't sure. Not sure which is which, or what belongs to what at all. Cool. Good eye. You little, oh my god, they really want people to buy that pet. I have never seen another pet with that much of an animation. I mean, except for the dragons that, like, fly across your screen. Ooh, he didn't want me to block this thing. Ooh, he didn't want me to block it. Okay. Um... I won't be able to cast Galta if I give him plus one, plus one, because Galta would still cost seven, unfortunately. I have a maximum of six mana. Um, if I fight that, though, he's just going to give it the plus one, plus one, and I don't have a backup play, so I have to go next. Um, let me just do that, go next. I bow to no one. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a backup play, so... Can't do that one. Wow, okay, that comes into play tapped. I think he just drew that. So, I assume, yep, another pass. Another uneventful pass. Very well. Um, I think I'm going to attack, and I'm going to gamble for Galta here. We're going to gamble for Galta. Attack with this, remove an, a non-creature from the graveyard. That'll be that. Please do not block it. Please just take the damage. Oh, damn it. Come on, man. Just take the damage. Whatever. Okay, well, we each get each other's threats off the field. Yes. And pass. Let me see what other animations this pet has. Let's see what we got here. Oh man, he I know he just drew that. Oh come on, please. Ripjaw Raptor, Ranging Raptor, anything, anything, man. Shifting, marauding, hell, freaking Atali. Carnage Tyrant. Yeah. Come on, baby. I'm just naming all the cards in my deck because I could use any of them but a land. Oh, God. All right. Well, uh, well I said I promised you the auto shuffler would have its revenge. It, it has. Sweet revenge. Fair enough. I, I deserve this. It's okay. I opened up with a whole lot of wins.
Yeah, I want to see these uh sleeves again. Pretty nice. Although that is like the least animation you can possibly have to call us a, a sleeve. Exquisite. It it is nice as hell though. Damn, they're going to start loading up on treasure tokens if I don't get something substantive. Oh my god, fuck you. Um, well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, okay, I'm going to have to use this to kill the Mirror Breaker. No choice. Um. Actually, I could wait until the end of their turn, I think, to do that. Because it comes into play, it won't have haste. Um, and since it's an enchantment creature... Yeah, we'll just do that. Can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Just so that they don't have access to even another mana. Oh, this is this is getting freaking ugly. This is getting ugly. Wow. Yup, land, land, land. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Chandra. Oh boy, this is the one that gives you the emblem. No, that's not. Okay, whatever. It's still one that is uh, very good. Okay, that is uh, fat damage. Yep, very good. Why even bother going for Domery? It ain't doing nothing for me right now. Oh, and that thing is... Oh, that's so good. That's actually good. Wow. That's actually good. Remove stop. Okay, now just pass turn, and you can stop at their end step, please, right? It's going to do that. Right? Oh, today's my lucky day. Okay, so Carnage Tyrant, right? Regisaur Alpha would be cool, actually. Puts two permanents down. But damn, I would love the Carnage Tyrant. I would fight it against this right away. Discard the other Domery. Okay. Alright. Sorry to make it so anticlimactic, but that's freaking it. That's two, six... A damage there, and then I start playing. All right, good game. I I understand. It's it is the balance restoring itself. The balance of whatever is tending towards neutral again. So good game. Kyle, you said land, land, land. It turns out you missed one. <laughs> Tetra D D. All right. Um. Ooh, they. I, I want to mulligan that one. That's a little better early. We'll get rid of. Um. I don't know. I guess the Great Henge. Since the Marauding and Otepic made the uh, Regisaur affordable. Oh, okay, we actually needed that. Definitely needed that for all the lands to come into play untapped. That's good. Okay, and a first striker getting a plus one, plus one counter is good. Yeah, I like that one. That reminds me of... Uh, <laughs> As much as I don't like to admit that I played it, I suppose I should be, I suppose I should be, uh, just em embrace my past. It reminds me of Kriara from RuneScape. The, the Armadial God Wars Dungeon General. Um, yeah, we're definitely taking those. Need all my boys out here. 
Okay, um... I have to play Death Gorge Scavenger first, since there's nothing in a graveyard to remove to give it plus one, plus one. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. Um, what's this? Um, let's see. Whenever another... Oh, that's that thing. I know what that thing is. Okay, that's just different artwork. Yeah, I don't have to read that. Okay, good, because I... I think, think anyone who's watched my stuff before knows I'm not the biggest fan of reading. I do know how, barely, but, you know, I mean, so many words. Okay, very well. Holy poo. Tell me an ember cleave is about to happen. That feels like an Ember Cleave moment. Yeah. Wow. Well. Oh, I have my bad. No space bar. Yep. Holy crap. Wow. Well, there it is. Okay. On to the next one. <laughs> Damn. Good Ember Cleave. Damn. Level 70 now. Not as nice as the level before it. Yep, that's going to be a mulligan from me. Wow. A little better there. Definitely. Oh, man, um, I guess I have to get rid of, um, I don't have to get rid of Regisaur. Although if they destroy stuff, it's probably safest to get rid of Regisaur. What do we got here? Oh, one of them, one of them vampire ones. They had a day where, like, a whole lot of vampire-themed, uh, sleeves were on sale, like, so many of them. It was really nice just seeing them all, you know? And I, I like that people are using them. I mean, they were all pretty nice. This one looks like Lena from Dota. If, if that means anything to anyone. You know, here here live or, or in the future. I am right, though. That does look a lot like Lena from Dota. Okay. Um, Otepic first. Last turn. Please no Shakedown Heavy. Please no Routing Regisaur. Oh, well, okay, that that's the thing, too. Oh, boy. What is it? Love Struck Beast, but they don't have a 1-1 one, one creature, so it can't attack. It can block... This thing can't attack or block unless the opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and... Uh, I think if they want to trade... I think this might be a good trade to go shifting now before they put a plus one, plus one counter on the Lovestruck Beast. Might be all right to get it off the field. Because that might have been six power that I couldn't deal with next turn and it could trade with Carnage Tyrant. You know, while I'm here now, I'd just like to say, you know, I appreciate everyone's time. I appreciate you for, uh, you know, stopping by the stream or stopping by the video, whatever, any amount of time. And, you know, if you feel like, you know, if you feel like this stream was worth your time, you know, I would appreciate, you know, a like, a thumbs up beneath the video. Let me know that, you know, not only was it worth your time, but let other people, you know, with similar interests, with similar uh, demographics... And, you know, YouTube and freak creeps know too much about you, so they'll they'll do a pretty good job on that. They definitely will. And, you know, that, that helps me, that helps you, because then you'll get it recommended more. So, you know, just thank you. If you feel I earned a like, if you want even more, you know, hit me with a subscription. Um, and, yeah, that's about, uh, that's about it on the spiel there. 
Um, just thanks for any engagement. You get likes, comments, uh, subscribes. I appreciate that. And back to the action there. I, I gave the Marauding Raptor haste even though it didn't need it because I'm a genius. I was debating if I should give Ranging Raptors not uh, haste or not. And then I decided, no, I'll give it to Marauding Raptor even though it didn't need it. And that's, once again, that's the level of genius that you get here on, uh, on Big Fat MTG. We'll just do that because it's going to be a 4-4 next turn. They're having us mill two cards. We're at four cards here. So they can mill us again. We'll be at six. It'll be tapped. I mean, unless they play a mill spell. We'll see. Relic Golem. Okay. Gosh darn. Gosh darn. Okay, this is this is gonna be pretty bad. Okay, that's actually really nice that we got a Carnage Tyrant there. Uh, that thing's an 8-8 actually. I, I think that's pretty much it. Um, next. Yeah, cause, I mean, I can't draw Galta and then draw Domri in time enough to sacrifice Galta to this and then I still have to deal with these two. We're about to get milled pretty hard. That's pretty much good game. Wow, that's pretty cool, though. Good for them. And Uncommon, too. I like seeing Uncommons do well, you know? Nice that all the action, all the spotlight isn't being hogged by rares. Good stuff. Yep. One, two. Yeah, now this can block. And then next turn they can all attack. That's it. Yep, okay, good game, very good. Way, they're out of control, man. Totally out of control. Damn, man, good game. Damn, love seeing the uncommons too, not gonna lie. Just, just happy that they're freaking uncommons. All right, moving on. Actually, I'm going to check the time really quick. I think I, I might have been doing this for a uh, deceptively long. I'll be right back. I know the match is just starting. Let's Okay, thank you for the hold up there, 9.30, so we'll see how this game goes. Um, I'll keep this one. Oh man, I think I'll get rid of Domri. Although he is my only source of interaction. That's kind of tough. Oh. So you're a degenerate. Well, Domri was the wrong one to, uh, to put away then. Reg, little shit. I hate you. You're a terrible dog. That's why I love you. My doggy is a thief. He eats all of my beef. That's a bad dog. Yeah. My doggy is a jerk. He eats all my turkey. That's a bad dog. Um, 
rotting into death gorge there's nothing to exile so i have to uh go death gorge them rotting i don't even think i can really do anything here except pass the turn that really sucks so what would do it here a tally they have nice sleeves at least so that's one good thing about this person. I'm hopping on. Hey, have a good night, man. Have a good night, Kyle. See you, man. I typed it because I know that there's a uh, delay. You might be gone by the time you hear it. Speaker of the Heaven? Oh, yeah, forget it. Uh, you know what? I'll say good game to this piece of garbage. Baby Rage. But the, seriously, those uh, those werewolf sleeves are mad nice, though, actually. Reggie, where are you going? I had more verses to sing to you. What other foods are there? He never gives, only takes. He eats all of my steaks. That's a bad dog. What other foods are there? He is a big bitch and he eats all my chicken. That's a bad dog. He gets away with murder. He eats my Frankfurters. He's a bad dog. One more. Veal steal. Okay. My doggy always steal all of my yummy veal. Fuck you, bad dog. I love singing to my dog. If you didn't leave the stream, I hear a champ. You might actually have good taste, though. I am actually decent at that. <laughs> Putting weird lyrics to songs. <laughs> it's a weird, weird skill to have. Okay. That guy. This guy. Very well. Aldrin Familiar, let the madness begin. Oh, a Bone Crusher Giant, very good. Two damage, not at my face, but at the cost of Otepic. Very well. Ooh. He will not be happy with that. He will not be happy with that at all. I think we should do that. I... I think just that. Yeah, I think that's the thing to do. And do your thing. Damn. Sage you. Nice. That's why I that's why I like two, man. Cause I at the one just I it's just one, you know? It's just one. But if you have two, like, yeah, sometimes, you know, you'll, you'll draw a second one and you don't want it. But there's so many causes for its use, man. I think two is the right number. Remember when, remember when, um, whatever set it's from? Let me look. I don't even remember what set it's from. But you remember when, um, yeah, Streets of New Capenna? Or, no, that's Neon. It's Neon Dynasty, idiot. Yeah, um, remember when that was coming out and it was being hyped and people were like, Oh, this is an obvious four of in every deck. And it's like, dude, it's legendary though. Like, I don't, I don't know if four is gonna be the best thing, you know? Like, I understand that you're hyped and all, but like, four of a legendary land, you know, they're just gonna be bricking up your hand, man. Do 
We are very fortunate to get rid of that cauldron from, or that witch's oven there. Very fortunate. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is excellent with the Blood Tithe Harvester, so we're going to have to get a move on. Okay, well, I mean, at least that's three power off their field in exchange for two, and we got a land out of it. I will take that. That means I'll get a fat swing with Marauding Raptor, because we're going to go our first Regisaur here. So they will not be able to uh, sack Blood Tithe to kill this guy in time. And of course, they can just chump it with Cauldron Familiar if they so choose. They might not want to do that. They might want to keep it open for hopes of getting a Witch's Oven. Will they block the token with Cauldron Familiar? Then that's a decent block. Wow. Okay. All right. And then they're going to use Blood Tide Harvester on the uh, Regisaur Alpha, conceivably? Man, this would be a great time for Death Gorge Scavenger. The little graveyard hater. Unfortunately, it's a sorcery speed. Still gets Croaks out, though. There are three cards in Graveyard. Croaks requires five other cards in their Graveyard to exile it. So they're a little ways away. We got some Blood Tokens, though. Might help them get there. Okay, they sacrificed the Blood Token, so... They're a little further away from uh, using this to give minus four, minus four to Regisaur. Wow, he dropped another Croaks down. Okay, he's got six cards there. He can escape his Croaks, and that would be really bad for me. Yeah, basically, if I don't draw a Galt, I'm screwed. There goes Shifting. Galt, or I mean, I guess a Tally, Carnage Tyrant. One of the big boys. It's gotta be. That's not really it. Wow, okay, good game. Um, you know what, I'll say it. It was a pretty good game. You earned it, sir. Good game. But I think I'm going to end the stream there. I, I like to end on a high note, but then that's statistics. It doesn't always happen. So, you know, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for if you felt like I earned a like or a subscription, or, you know, because you want more or whatever, even a comment saying thumbs up or something. You know, I appreciate that. So um, thank you for stopping by. Big fat bastards. Big fat bastardettes. And I look forward to streaming for you guys uh, again in a couple times in the coming weeks. So you uh, have a good night. Um, it's usually at um, 8 p.m., I try to stream most days during the week, and then I try to get a, a stream in on the weekends, too. So uh, see you guys. Have a, have a good night. Take care, kings and queens, man. Take care of yourselves and each other.